Well, it's only taken a year, but I've managed to get the tubes that I used in my groovy filter, the ultimate aquarium filter. But what's better than that is that I've got something else as well. Something that allows multiple filters to be joined together. Now when I got the sample sent from a wonderful company in China, uh, who were in fact the only company who would actually send out samples, tried ones in Germany, UK, US and also another one in China that wouldn't send out samples, this company would, sent me different sizes and one of the sizes they sent was that. And that's 60 mil external diameter. This one is 60 mil internal diameter. And that allows this little one to slot inside the big one. And you might be thinking, well, what's the point in that? Now you can join multiple filters together to vastly increase the filtering capacity. In the design of the first filter, there was issues that people raised with taking the cable out the side or cutting the plug off and taking it out the back for neatness. But if you join in two filters together, this does away with any need to cut the plug off. All you do is get a sharp knife, cut that down there. Now when you put your pump in here, you can take your cable out of here and just push this together so your cable comes out very neatly in the middle. And I'll just demonstrate that. I'll just cut a little hole for the pump outlet. Slot the pump in. And this will be quite difficult because this is a new tube. They do soften when you put them in water. They do fluff up a little bit as well, giving them much more filtering capabilities. Just attach the air line before I forget. There you go, that's your outlet. This pipe actually fits the pump a lot better than the original pipe that I had. This one is spot on, absolutely spot on. I've actually made quite a wide slot there, just wide enough for a cable and an airline. So all we do, we feed the cable and the airline into that. Push our tubes together. And here presto, cable and airline, outlet there. So that can sit along the back of your tank. This can lead out to the plug. And it's just a really neat ultra filtering system. As you saw in the original video, you can load this up with pretty much whatever you want. But I'm going to quickly set it up now just to show you how this big filter would be set up if it was in my tank. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is protect the pump from any bits of media that may become dislodged and make their way towards the impeller. So I'm going to drop that coarse bit of sponge in there. I'm going to put another one in this other side, like so. Push them all the way down and that will protect the pump. It'll still allow water and fine muck, if there is any fine muck by the time the, the water gets to here, to pass straight through and out and be caught second time round. So it will protect the impeller of the pump. That's it, right down to the pump. Now you can just fill this up with loose media if you want to, but I'm actually going to use it in a little bag. Unfortunately I can't seem to get a good reliable source for these bags, so I'm not selling them, but I've put bio gravel, which is a form of bio home, into a little bag and I'm going to drop that in here. Next I'm going to use some fine particle matting put in here, because bear in mind most of the water is going to be coming through the end of the filter, it's going to be drawn in through the end, so that is there to protect the media. That's to ensure that we've got lovely clean water hitting the media so it doesn't get clogged. Next we've got a medium density foam in there, that'll catch the medium muck. And last of all we've got the coarse foam. That'll trap the heavy muck. 
So really, if you think about it, most of the water is going to be drawn in through here. Not so much through the tube, because the tube is quite dense. That's going to filter out the very, very fine stuff. So from the end, we've got coarse, medium, fine, then the media. So that ensures that all of the mechanical filtration is going to be done in here, with these three foams. And then the biological filtration, and then we've got our pump spitting the water and air back out. So all we do is repeat that process on the other side, push the two bits together, and there we've got our filter ready to drop in the tank. Now there's a choice of two different pumps to go in here, two different pumps that'll draw air in and mix it with oxygen. And they are the 320 pump and the 450 pump. The 320 will draw air in down to a depth of one foot, 30 centimetres. The 450 pump will draw air in down to a depth of 18 inches, which is 45 centimetres. So just bear that in mind. I'll also make a note of that in the video description. Now, although the biohome media is the best media available, you don't have to use it. You can use your original ceramic rings. You can, you can even cut way down on the cost and just use gravel in here. It won't do much of a filtering job, but it'll be better than nothing. Or if you're just using this purely for clean water, you can just pack it with foams. You know, maybe have three fine foams, two medium foams, and two coarse foams in here and that'll do a hell of a job of clearing the water making it crystal clear you don't need any additives or any of that your clarity will come from the foams and the quality of the foams and them being laid out in the correct order water has to be clean before it hits the media if it's a good media if it's a crap media it doesn't matter but good media like biohome needs to be operating in clean water to be ultra efficient so coarse, medium, fine sponge, that gives you clear water. Then your biological media, which gives you healthy water. Pump, drawing air in, shredding it, spitting it out. That gives you well oxygenated water. Well oxygenated water will boost the performance of the filter. So everything works in a cycle. Everything works together for healthy water and clear water. So there you go. That's our much bigger filter with a vastly greater filter and capacity than the first one from the first video and really when you think about it there's nothing stopping you adding more onto this so you've got one with a pump in one with all the media one with a pump in one with all the media you could carry it on for five six feet maybe it's even more just hide it with rocks and you've got all the filtering work done in the background and as I said before when this has been in the water a little bit it goes a little bit more fluffy and it's the perfect stuff for shrimps and fry to feed from because the very fine muck settles on here you get loads of little microorganisms living in and on here and that's what your fry and shrimps feed on so there you go that is me just saying I do actually have the pipes now finally and showing you the new way you can boost this little filter to suit pretty much any tank Thanks very much for watching. The eBay link to all this gear is in the video description. I was going to do a, a ready-made kit, but there's so many different ways that it can be set up. I'm just selling all this stuff separately. I'll also put my email address if you want to combine different things, and I can give you a price for that no matter where you live in the world. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bonjour, who's up for seeing something strange yet strangely awesome? All those who say I, say I. Hope you are as well, please watch on. Today, I've got a real treat for you. This is a real combination of new ideas as far as filtration goes. This is what I'm gonna be making. Yes, it looks like a lump of bone with the marrow in. But what is the uh, two wires coming out of here for? Well, uh, you'll find out. Before I show you this working, I'll show you the components that are involved in its manufacture. And then I'll explain why I've made it, how I have made it. 
Here are the basic components of our filter. We've got the polyester tube. We cut a little slit in here for the outlet of the pump to poke through. We've poked a little hole in here for the electric cable and also the air inlet pipe to fit through. That comes off there. And what that is, is an adjuster. So you can adjust how much air is sucked in and that affects the size of the bubbles. And just a quick note, I did have to take the plug off the pump to get the cable easily through there. There's no real other way of doing that unless you take the cable out here uh, if you want to keep the plug on, but I'll just cut the plug off and easily attach another one. This is the pump and it's quite a special pump. I don't know why this hasn't been used in aquariums before, but I'm here to tell you that it's an awesome idea. It's a really excellent pump and I'll run through the features when I'm explaining about the filter in a second. Here we've got two bits of foam. You can cut your own foam, you can get big blocks of foam or you can just cram matting in here. They cap off the ends and for inside the filter we've got two bags of filter media. This is Biohome Ultimate. I'll also explain about that in a moment as well. So basically we feed our cable and airline through there. Push the pump in till the nozzle sticks out of the little hole. Pull that tight, just to tidy it up in there. Then we'll put filter media in that side and also in that side. And then we cap that off with the foam, which fits in there nice and tight. We'll do the same on the other side. And that's our filter. You can go with a bit of pipe here. You could put a a tea piece on there if you wanted to fire the water two different directions I suppose or you could put a spray bar on here instead of this pipe that way you could have almost like a, a fine bubble wall like a mist wall the possibilities are endless really but this is our filter this will eventually get covered in algae which will feed all sorts of microorganisms fry and shrimps the whole filter is basically a feeding station for those things. Most of the water will be drawn in each end but it will also be drawn in through the body of the filter itself. So you've got foam, you've got filter media which in this case is Biohome Ultimate, best media you can get. This filter is basically going to sort out ammonia, nitrite and nitrate and if you don't know much about the Biohome media just look through my previous videos and I'll also put a link to associated biohome videos in the description of this video. So either side of the pump we've got the media and either side of the media we've got the sponge. You can of course just pack this with fine particle matting or sponge if you just want a straightforward filter to make the water clear. The idea of this one is though it makes it clear and exceptionally healthy. When this white polyester tube becomes totally blocked, all you do, you pull your filter apart, hand wash it out or stick it in your washing machine with no chemicals and it'll totally clean it. It's a fully washable filter and if the pump goes, all you do is just take your little tube off here, pull it apart, take the pump out, put a new pump in and your filter's as good as new. So this filter will not only mechanically and biologically help your water, i.e. it should make it perfect but it can also chemically clean it as well all you would need to do if you wanted to chemically clean the water as well take one of these filter medias out and just put carbon in, purigen basically anything that would suck in the muck in the water you could even put a peat ball in here actually if you wanted to condition the water as well pull that out, take your media out of this side put a peat ball in here so as the water's being drawn over it, it's going to reduce the pH and spit it out for your low pH fish. You can do so much in this little filter. But that's not all. Because of the design of the pump, it will also aerate the water as well without the use of an air pump. And the size of the bubbles can be adjusted to make it run silently. And the reason I went for a silent 
way to aerate the water is because I know a lot of people have fish tanks in their bedrooms or in the living rooms and quite often they switch the air pump off because it makes too much noise with all the big bubbles popping. Air pumps want to go 24-7 so that the oxygen levels in the tank stay high. If you switch it off, they crash and then they go back up again when you switch it on and then they crash when you switch it off. This way your oxygen levels in the tank are going to stay very constant. And I'll show you just how well this produces air in a second. But first of all, I'll explain a little bit more about this pump. This is, I think, a 300, 320 litre an hour pump. You can get 450 litre versions as well, which I do hope to have available for sale pretty soon. And a lot of people will be thinking it just looks like a little water feature pump, and it does, but these are actually used for hydroponics. And what this does, it sucks water in, but it also sucks air in as well. And the important thing is where it sucks the air in. On a standard pump, it would suck air in at the outlet. So it would have a little venturi that as the water was flying over the little access hole, would drag air in and blow bubbles out. That can be quite noisy. What this pump does, it sucks air in at the same point that the water gets drawn in before the impeller. So it sucks air and water in at the same time. The impeller shreds the air so it makes it tiny little bubbles and then it spits it out. Really highly oxygenated water. Not just water with air in. It's shredded air. And that's so important. Not only from a useful point of view because the tiny little bubbles go right around the tank. They don't just bubble off but also from a noise point of view as well because that makes this really really quiet and the fact that it's in a polyester tube means you're not even going to get noise from vibrations this is basically a muffler keeps all the noise in here for silent operation there you go, you can see exactly where it spits out now you don't need that on though, just take that off see the end sticking through there, water's just going to come straight out of there so I guess now we better see this thing in action Right, here we go, big switch on. Right, the filter is actually working there, but there's no air coming out. Ah, now there is. So we can have huge bubbles, or if I adjust this by turning it down, watch what happens to the bubbles. Look at that, tiny. Shut it down so there's really microscopic bubbles coming out. And now they're going all over the tank, they're not just shooting straight to the top. And that makes such a difference when you're aerating water. Open it up a little bit more. I mean that's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful, look at that. And the fish love it. And you can just imagine when all of this polyester gets filled with muck, algae grows on here, you're going to have shrimps and plex sucking that, you're going to have fry feeding from it, feeding off all the microorganisms that attract themselves to this. Now I know a lot of the fellas that breed fish and also keep shrimps love foam filters because they attract muck to them, microorganisms also get attracted to there and breed on there and your fry and your shrimps, your plex as well, feed from the foam filters. This is really just an evolution of that idea, but it takes it to the next level. And not only is the filter moving water, it's aerating water, it's controlling ammonia, nitrite and nitrate. It's also supporting other life, which in turn will feed the inhabitants of the tank. I'm particularly pleased with this idea. I just need to find out where to get those polyester tubes. And I do possibly have a source for those, so keep your eye on future videos. I should have these available fairly soon. I've already sourced the pumps, and really everything else is just up to you what you put in. You can put anything in, but you need that sort of pump and that sort of tube. I'm hoping to get those soon. I. I. He's a god now. 
if you've made a similar filter from this idea or you've made some of the moving bed filters that I brought out years ago I would love it if you send me the link and also allow me to use some of the footage because I do intend doing a video of people who have evolved my ideas because I just put the ideas out there but I love it when people take those ideas and evolve them and make them into something better if I was big headed I would say it would be pretty hard to make that better but I'm sure you can do it there's the idea you run with it all I ask is that if you do make something very similar using this idea you just remember where you saw it first because I've seen so many moving bed filters and some of them from big channels who just pass it off as their idea it isn't moving bed filters isn't my idea it was just my idea to use them in a tank and on the subject of moving bed filters there is actually some new media out so I'll be showcasing that in an upcoming video as well if you've liked this video hit the thumbs up button much appreciated and feel free to share this video on any Facebook group pages forums, websites, wherever you want to share it, please share it. Because the more informed we can make people about proper filtration practices, the happier the inhabitants of our aquariums are going to be. So there you go, there's another unusual and highly effective idea from the twisted mind of Pond Guru. This filter really does it all. It shifts water about, like a pump does. It aerates the water, like an air pump does. It's fully customizable, so you can use it for pretty much whatever purpose you want, whether that's mechanical filtration, biological filtration, chemical filtration, or a combination of all three. It supports microorganisms, which will feed your fry and also your shrimps and plex. It costs very little to run, and if any part of it breaks down, you simply substitute something else. Getting all of those things to work within a small area is a bit of a holy grail. I don't think I've made the perfect filter but there's enough about that filter to make me ridiculously confident that it could handle a large tank. So keep checking my eBay store when I do source a regular supplier of these tubes and also the pumps they will be available on there and I may even make up full systems as well because this really is Maybe it's not the ultimate filter, but it's pretty damn close. So as far as this idea goes, don't thank me, thank somebody called Wes. I've been conversing with him via email for the past few weeks, and it was him that sent me this tube. Obviously it was a little bit longer than it is now, and I've taken a bit out. But he sent me this and said, see if you can do anything with this. It might be good for a filter. As soon as I saw it, I thought, I know exactly what I'm going to do and I know exactly the pump I'm going to use in here. So thanks very much to Wes. Without you, I would never have made that filter. There's going to be quite a lot of aquatic videos, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching. And therefore I am... Pon Guru?